the world famous um, questionnaire by Bernard Pivot. And this is one of my favorite parts. So bear with me, James, don't be angry. Uh, remind me what it is because I. <laughs> what is your favorite word? Uh, my favorite word is sweet. What is your least favorite word? My least favorite word is hate. What turns you on? Turns me on. <laughs> Legs. Nice. What turns you off? Arrogance. What sound or noise do you love? Music. What sound or noise do you hate? A car horn alarm that keeps going and going and going in the night. Ooh, oh, in the night too. Any time of day. <laughs> it's like, turn off your car! <laughs> what was that? Bleep bleep! Turn off your Get, car! Getting to that word, in, in <laughs> fact. What is your favorite curse word? Can I say it? Yeah, well, this is my show. I love the F word. Because I love fricatives. And if I'm really mad, if I'm really excited and you use a fricative, it just feels good. It's a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> and what profession would you of some what other profession would you like to do or try? I would love to be a TV newscaster. <gasps> I, okay, I'm still in your job, right? Listen, <laughs> what's this about? I mean, guys, he might be really good at it, <laughs> but this is my gig. It's my, it's my gig. Oh no, I don't know if I'd be good at it because I'd probably say all the words wrong. I'd probably put the prompter on like that, but. <laughs> But I, I just think it would be interesting to travel around and, I mean, it's a scary job too, yeah. and, and there's, they're, they're treated so badly these days, nobody <laughs> trusts the media, they're bad, bad. But I, I think it would be kind of fun, I think. And, or I would love to teach in a university. And, and teach music? And teach music. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. But I was asked to a while ago at my alma mater. Oh! They asked me to come in as an adjunct professor. Amazing. But I, but I was... Still in sort of the mid, mid, midst, uh, midst of um, my performing career, and I was just like, I'm not ready to, to yeah. stop doing that yet. Totally. Yeah. And so, what job or profession would you not like to do? Would I not want to do? I would not want to clean toilets. I can clean mine, but I can't clean someone else's toilet. I hear you. I hear you. Um, and now, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive? Welcome home. It's pretty beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marcus, Thank for you. joining me. Oh my God, my very first, first guest. Friend. <laughs> That's great. Guys, please pay attention to Marcus Nance in his future career. And if you don't know, now you know. Now you know. Bye. Um, I have an Audra story for you. Though. Give me an Audra story. Okay. Audra's from Fresno, California. I did my undergraduate work at Fresno State University. Uh -huh. So I was singing in a Christmas caroling group, and we used to rehearse at this church. Um, uh, and one day they were having a wedding in the sanctuary, and we were rehearsing in the choir room. And the minister of the church came running into our rehearsal, and he said to our music director, you've got to hear this girl who just sang at this wedding. She is amazing. And he brought in this... 13 year old girl with pigtails and it was Audra McDonald. So I met, I think I was 19, she's 13. Yeah. So he introduced us to this girl. She was all shy and sweet so when and cute you, with pigtails. When you met her again, did you say that? I told her the story. That's fantastic. <laughs> I told you her the story at the reception of Ragtime. You have yeah. to. Yeah.